Here's a good corner, the lane centering. Of course, I'm going to hug it more to the left, going by the semi who's creeping into my lane. Even though you have lane centering, you're still in control. In fact, if I were to go over the line, it would start vibrating the steering wheel. You see that little green icon? Not sure if you can see it in this video. We're going to cruise control at 70. We're going to crank it up to 70. Wait a minute. Speed limit is 60 right now, so we'll go 72. Okay, now we're set 71. But you can see we're only going 77. We're only going 50 because the car in front of me. So when I switch lanes, it'll immediately speed back up to what I have a cruise control set at. To re-enable lane centering, you just hold it in its lane. Here's a pretty good right corner. And it'll re-enable that green line. So here, beeping at me, it wants me to touch the steering wheel. Okay, made it happy. I timed it. It takes 14 seconds from when you touch the steering wheel before the, the screen comes on to ask you to. It takes 19 seconds for um, it to start beeping at you and it starts shutting down at 25 seconds. And by 30 seconds, it'll apply the brakes. And then you have to touch the steering wheel, re-engage the power uh, lane centering, and then you're good to go. I will also point out that you have to have cruise control set and adaptive cruise control set for lane centering to work. So you can't use the lane centering feature if you don't have um, cruise control set. So when we go by a semi, I like to be closer to the left. So I'm gonna pull it over just a hair and hold it. Even though I'm still letting it drive, I'm just kind of hold it more to the left to be safe. By the semi, I let go of the steering wheel. Lane centering is still engaged. Good. When you switch lanes, the lane centering will go off. You have to re hold the steering wheel in the middle and then it will automatically re engage. When you um, Get to an intersection where the lines go away or maybe there's a right hand turn keep your hand closed because sometimes it'll just say you cancel or resume uh, same thing if it takes too sharp of a corner i haven't had any problems on interstates but on side roads it's not going to take a 90 degree turn i've tried it <laughs> but it will take pretty sharp corners as long as there's a good uh, lane centering for it to follow Not sure if you can hear anything, but this is the Ford Maverick Hybrid Larry Lux. Not much road noise, even with the sunroof. All right, we got a right-hand corner coming up here. I had to put the phone down because there was a popo was driving by. Set at 76. Okay, see, there was an off ramp there, so I didn't know what to do. It canceled me. That was a good example. So now I have to hit cruise control. You can see that green steering wheel is re enabled, so it means the power steering is back engaged. But you got to be careful when, like right here, that lane starts to go away, or there's a right hand lane opening up. Sometimes it will lose the lane centering. Other than that, great feature, love it. This is the Ford Maverick Hybrid Lariat Luxury Package. I will mention you do have to have the Lariat Luxury Package for the lane center, at least on the 2022 models. 2023, that may be different. But, but. let's touch the steering wheel. Make it happy. And then it's back to driving.
I'll do some more city roads, more side roads. It's really cool. It will actually stop with a car stops to a complete stop if you hit a red light. See right there, it got a little unsure of itself, but it remained in the middle. So yeah, the traffic light, it'll completely stop when you hit a car and then um, when you get close to the car. And then once it's green, you have to hit the gas to go and then it'll resume lane centering and the cruise control that you have set up. Pretty cool feature.